I knew that there'd been babies gifted within the family to other family members. And so when I first heard about that, I was like, oh wow, that's amazing. Like how generous, like, and so beautiful. We are the heartbeat pounding through your shirt and being there to feel it first. You know, a family member that, you know, is struggling to have babies or really wants one and hasn't yet. It's, it's quite common in their culture and it's so beautiful and it's one of the highest forms of respect in their culture. The softest skin and the spot I fit The morning smile with a kiss And so after the Rio Olympics, um, I remember sitting down with a couple of Kylo sisters. They said, look, when the time's right, we'd love to gift you a child. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, incredible. Like, that's amazingly generous and I'm overwhelmed, but you know, when the time's right, like, you know, there's no perfect timeline, just whatever. Like, this is so beautiful of you guys, thank you. We had a little family gathering at home, and I mean, we spoke years ago about the potential of gifting of it. So, and then maybe like a handful of times since then, it was like, hey, we still would like to do this, with, you know. Um, and so then, yeah, she was uh, at the party, Nina, and was like, hey, um, I'm nine weeks pregnant. I was like, wow. And if it's a boy, we're going to keep it because we want to have a brother for their other son, Nicholas. And if it's a girl, it's yours. Wow, like insane. As much as we wanted just a healthy baby, like obviously I was just, please be a girl. Like that would be incredible. But then also like, oh my gosh, that's like so scary. But I'm so ready and have been. But then I was like, oh, the guilt. I'm give oh, like there was a bit of conflicting feelings as initially because I was like, oh, well, I mean, if it's a boy, it's amazing. I'll still be the best auntie ever. But if it's a girl, then I get to be a mum. Like it was such a weird, bit. like you know, can never predict like a scenario like that. And yeah, so little Pearly uh, arrived on the 13th of October, 2022. I can't stop time, God knows I've tried But if I have to watch the world flying by I wanna watch it with you Come on, me. I got to, you know, have a baby shower before the World Cup. I got to celebrate and, you know, announce it on socials. Even though I was a bit cheeky and I announced it like as if Kyle and I were pregnant. But we, we were. <laughs> but people were like, oh, you're taking a spot in the squad. Why would you go to New York? Just, oh, the, oh my God. I had people like, can you just tell people that you're not pregnant? Because people were like ringing me asking. I was like, oh, sorry. Didn't know I owed everyone a big explanation, but I guess I did kind of put it out there like I was pregnant, which was funny. So then it just goes to show like people think they know you sometimes or like they think they know everything. And it's like, oh, well, gotcha. <laughs> I um, put another post out just explaining, lightly explaining like the situation. Um, but I've had plenty of opportunity through just interviews like this and um, articles and stuff to really explain the culture and how beautiful it is, how generous it is and my beautiful family and, and how blessed we are. And, and really um, give some light to the amazing culture that it is. And because uh, people had no idea, have no idea, unless you get told something like that, how would you know? And it's quite common in Pacific Island cultures, but it's like not really spoken about because I mean, just out of respect to the whole scenario, you know, there was a bill passed in 2020 that allowed adoption to become legal in the system because before that uh, it was like as good as verbal and then it would become pretty complex for those babies later on in life when they were adults and tried to get their passport or something because they'd find on the birth certificate it would be different names or whatever. So it became quite complex. Um, so now this bill, uh, once it was passed a few years ago, allowed them to come back and, you know, get the right people to sign the right things so that their parents that they grew up with, so there's the birth parents and the culture parents. So whether Kyle and I um, apply for the adoption as the cultural parents and how that works is of both parties the birth and the cultural parents at least one has to be of Torres Strait Islander descent. Once we apply we this big application to this commissioner's office in Cairns and then they approve the whole process and then we officially get our birth certificate back. The first one's null and void and the second one which is now the official one has our names as the birth parents. So if we chose to not tell her we could not tell her but there's no way that's happening. I want her to know how generous and beautiful her birth mum is and now her auntie, Nina, who we would call Nina Mama. 
Um, so I'm Kayla, mama to her kids. She's Nina, mama to Pearlie, uh, or Auntie Kayla or Auntie Nina. So yeah, I want her to have an understanding of the cultural practice. I want her to know that she was in her auntie's womb, but got gifted to me. I want her to know all of that and I want her to have a respect. I am really nervous though um, about how she'll take it. Like, I want to kind of plant some seeds as she's growing up, like, oh, you grew in that belly. Like, you know, just little bits and pieces to see, you know, if that kind of helps. I don't want to say soften the blow because it's, she's going to have her in her life as well as us, you know what I mean? So we're really close with Nina um, and she lives five minutes from my house in Cairns. So she was just here last week here in Sydney. So um, we're very close. So that's, you know, she's going to be very much a part of her life, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm a little nervous how she'll take it, like when, you know, she's old enough to really understand, but I'm sure she'll be fine. Um, ultimately, I just want Pearlie to be, um, you know, super loving and respectful and a really good human um, and to really have a good understanding of her culture. I mean, that's how I'm raising her. So um, I'm just trying to do the best I can do in that space. And so I still learn about cultural stuff all the time. I've been in the family 13 years. So she's done like, what, four professional seasons? What, Vegas, Taiwan, two WNBL ones? Yeah, four professional seasons, been on over 200 flights. Now she's, what, 19 months old, about to go to her first Olympics. That's Pearlie's little story. <laughs>